Okay, so today I basically tried out to see how GeForce Now performed on a Raspberry Pi. Let's talk about it. Okay, so the Raspberry Pi is basically what is known as sort of like the entry, like really old computer desktop replacement. You know, if you can't really afford a whole new computer, you can jump to Raspberry Pi because it actually has enough power to perform pretty good when it comes to like being a regular home computer as you guys saw in my last video. But a lot of older people like to use GeForce Now on, you know, their old computers to be able to play games like Rocket League or Fortnite without lagging at all. So I wanted to see, and apparently it's a good topic because a lot of people have made sort of videos about it. Most people who've made videos about this topic don't really like kind of cover if like a working version of it. So we're going to, you know, scratch and say, we're going to try to get GeForce Now to actually work on a Raspberry Pi. So there were some issues when it comes to this. First of all, there is no version of GeForce Now that runs on Linux. I mean, there's Windows and I'm pretty sure there's a Mac version, but there's no actual version for specifically Linux. So to get around this, we ended up using the Chromebooks version, which is basically you go on the Chrome web browser and you go on GeForce Now and you can play it through the web browser. But when I did this, my results basically were like 30 seconds of input delay. So whatever I did, it wouldn't register for a while. So obviously, you know, that's not playable. It's not even like enough to like feel like you're okay when it comes to using it. So next up, I decided to do something different. We're going to try to download Android on the Raspberry Pi, and then because the Play Store has some version of GeForce Now through an actual app, it would actually be natively through the Raspberry Pi. It wouldn't be like running through a browser, basically. We're going to try that. And trying that, I ended up downloading the GeForce Now APK. That way I can get the latest version of GeForce Now without actually having to install the Play Store. And it launched. It worked. And the only issue that arose is when I tried to log into my GeForce Now account. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work at all. No matter what I tried, it, it just didn't work. So I put that on hold and thought of like trying it later if my next idea wouldn't work. So my next idea was actually installing the Windows 10 version of Raspberry Pi on the Raspberry Pi, which is Windows 10 on ARM. Now, Windows 10 on ARM is basically a full version of Windows 10 that you can actually install on ARM-based processors, which is a new thing, which means that there's not that much support for the Raspberry Pi. Um, you can get it to install, but even when I got it to install, no Wi-Fi drivers would work. Most drivers that were like, you know, basic for Windows, like um, a display driver, didn't work on the Raspberry Pi, and it would default it to like the basic Microsoft display adapter. And obviously, you know, that's not good enough to actually do anything. Can't even get the actual scaling right on Windows. So I had to scratch that entirely because I couldn't even get Ethernet to work on there. Wi-Fi wouldn't work, Ethernet wouldn't work, drivers wouldn't work, nothing. So I literally could do absolutely nothing on Windows 10 on the Raspberry Pi. But maybe I'll revisit that topic for another time. So I tried actually going back to Lineage OS, which is Android, just to see if it would let me sign in if I try a couple different things. And the first thing I thought of was, hey, I went ahead and downloaded the Chrome APK the way I could actually log in through Chrome's browser. And surprised to me, that actually worked. So I was able to get into the GeForce Now library, into all my games, all my accounts, without any issue there. So it was time. We have GeForce Now working. We have my login right. Let's go ahead and try to see if we can play some games. So obviously, you know, favorite eSport game, Rocket League, try that. And at the beginning, when I got into the Rocket League game, it, it was actually fine for the first five seconds. <laughs> After five seconds, I started getting, like, notifications at the top right of the screen, basically saying, like, you know, latency is getting too low or whatever. And... After like I started getting those notifications, it would be like three seconds of input delay, like it wouldn't load back up. But occasionally it would snap back into place, work for like five more seconds, and then it would go back to being really slow and less latent. So that wasn't going to work. And I decided, hey, maybe it's because I'm using regular Wi-Fi. Because, you know, I'm upstairs. If I'm right above the Wi-Fi. Maybe it just needs to have some sort of Ethernet connection. And I tried Ethernet, right? And Actually, to my surprise, it worked pretty well. We were actually playing games of Rocket League, and it wasn't that unrelated. Like, it would be maybe a 
fourth of a second of delay, which I know is probably a lot to most people, which is like 250 milliseconds, but it was a lot better than what it was before. It wasn't competitive, I'd say, but if you're just like, you know, cruising around, just trying to play a couple games, like casual Rocket League, you should be fine for the most part. Um, there, there wasn't really that many issues. It was between about 200 to 250 millisecond in a responsiveness on the Raspberry Pi, but compared to like using Chrome, Chromium, or you know other alternatives, worked a lot better. <laughs> so other than that, like what are the other issues with like using GeForce Now on a Pi? Basically, um, the solution I used, which was using Android, Android doesn't have right click, so you need like a controller or something to actually be able to play right. But if you're using a keyboard and mouse, you literally just can't get right click to work on there at all. Unless, of course, you use some sort of like third party software to get it to work. But other than that, there's pretty much no other way that I know of to get GeForce Now on the Pi. Maybe eventually, when like the Windows 10 version of, of ARM64 for the Raspberry Pi actually comes to fruition and can actually be used, that can actually connect drivers and use Wi Fi and Ethernet and stuff, maybe then it would be a lot better than, for example, Android on the Raspberry Pi. And I'm, I'm super happy to be able to revisit that topic in the future, but as of right now, there's unfortunately no other like low enough latency way to actually play a GeForce Now on the Raspberry Pi. Um, I also tried other games like Fortnite and such, and it was about as responsive. I think Fortnite actually did better than Rocket League. It had around like 75 to 150 milliseconds of latency, but other than that, you know, it's okay, it's not exactly where it could be, but maybe like the Raspberry Pi 5 would be a lot better in the future, in like five years when the next one comes out. But yeah, I think with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead, hit the like button, and subscribe if you guys want some more Raspberry Pi related content on this channel. My name is Chris, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.